Hi guys, welcome to this week's screencast. We're going to be looking at areas of the skeleton and the vertebral column in this week's lesson. Okay, so first of all, if you pause it now, this is what your corner note should look like. So just get that down before we start. Right, okay, so the axial and appendicular skeleton, as you can see on the right hand side, we've got just a diagram here, we'll explain it in more detail now. The axial skeleton is the main core or axis of your skeleton and consists of the skull, your cranium, the thoracic cage, your sternum and your ribs, and the vertebral column. So this is this part in blue. So this is your axial skeleton, i.e. the centre, the base, the body of your skeleton. And the appendicular skeleton consists of the bones attached to the axial skeleton. So your limbs that are attached off the actual axial skeleton. So there are those two, so if you get those down. Okay, the spine or vertebral column. So this is made up of 33 irregular bones overall. Remember irregular bones, these are complex bones. So there's five regions we need to learn. First of all, you've got the cervical vertebrae or the cervical spine, and this consists of seven bones. Now, these bones are these ones here in orange. Imagine our skull is here and we're going to be facing that way looking left. This is the side of our spine. These allow the, allow the neck and the head to move freely. Now, cervical spine number one, so the first vertebrae, is known as the atlas, this one here. And the second one, so C2, is known as the axis. The reason we need to know this is because these two bones create a joint known as a pivot joint, i.e. they let us look left and look right rotation. Okay. You have the thoracic spine or the thoracic vertebrae. You've got 12 of them. These are these green, green ones here. Now they articulate with the ribs and they lie in the thoracic cavity. So the thoracic cavity is the ribs, the sternum, and the um, thoracic spine, the thoracic vertebrae. And as I say, that's this in green. So all the ribs attach on to the side of these. After that, we have the lumbar vertebrae, and that's these five down here. And these are the five largest vertebrae in the lower back, and they support weight. So a lot of shock absorption happens through here, and a lot of our support is all through our lower back. That's why you get people with a lot of lower back pains, especially ones that play sport. Got the sacral vertebrae, and this is five vertebrae fused together. So you may only see this, you may see the sacrum as one bone, but in fact it's five vertebrae that are fused together to form the sacrum. And then finally you've got the coccygeal vertebrae, and this is four bones, and this is down here, four bones fused together. This is these form the coccyx, otherwise known as the tailbone. Right, so that's it for this week, guys. If you just get those key points down, I'll see you lesson.